Hi, my name is Leland, and uh, I am deciding that I'm going to go to the Supreme Court this April 16th. That's in two weeks. Today is Monday, uh, April 1st. This is not an April Fool's joke. And uh, what I'm going to be going to go visit is the Supreme Court here. In this document, you can see it's uh, for docket number 12399. And it's the Supreme Court of the United States. It's the adopted couple versus baby girl. And this is a Native American, a Cherokee child, a, a part Cherokee child uh, a case. And I am part of a brief of Amici Curie. I know that I messed that up. But it's uh, adult Native American adoptees. And uh, I'm part of this particular case on this one as an interested party, as a friend of the court. And uh, in order for me to, uh, to fund my way, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to, uh, to sell these earrings right here that you see. And uh, they're not exactly very, very big, and, uh, but I figured for a fundraising technique that I would do it uh, from that perspective, and I'm going to give you an idea of, of the size of them again. So let me show you that again. Okay, that's a penny right there. And that's the size of them. What they are is they're turquoise uh, little uh, chips that uh, my friend Shannon uh, goes to uh, New Mexico and Arizona, and she gets, she gets them from there. And, uh, <clears throat> and so I, I put them on uh, sterling silver posts with a uh, with a butterfly clasp on them, and they'll be delivered this way. And I'm going to sell them online on eBay uh, for about uh, $20 as a fundraising tool for my flight. And I'm planning at this point on flying Delta Airlines from Los Angeles International Airport, LAX, to Baltimore Airport, BWI, on Monday, April 15th. So really, literally, I have just a few weeks, less than a few weeks, to raise this money in order to be able to go. And as many of you know, I'm a Navajo adoptee. I was adopted out of Chinle's Children Court and uh, by a white Mormon couple. And uh, they were very loving to me, and they're great people. They're the Morals, and they live in Salt Lake, in the Salt Lake Valley. And they're, they're great. Um, also, you may also know me from a book that, that uh, some of us adoptees wrote, and it's called Two Worlds, Lost Children of the Indian Adoption Projects. This particular book is, uh, is narratives uh, by us uh, Native American adoptees interspersed with research that was done. And uh, so, so that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, and right now I'm broadcasting from Runyon Canyon in, Hollywood, in the Hollywood Hills of California. So let me give you a perspective of where I'm at. Okay, over there is the Hollywood sign. And I don't know if you can see that over there. Let me zoom. And it's a little bit dark. It's dusk right now. I just barely got off work. You see Mount Lee up there. And, you, and you, that white thing at the very top of that mountain is the Hollywood sign. And over here, if I pan over this way, you'll see downtown Los Angeles. And in the forefront, you can see the uh, Sunset Tower, which has those uh, posters on it. And I call that the Earthquake Building. And then over to the uh, immediate right, you can see a CNN building. It's a black building. But uh, maybe it's a little bit dark for you to be able to see the, all that right now. But uh, anyway, so that gives you a perspective of where I'm broadcasting from. And also, um, another interesting thing is that I found sage on my hike coming up. And so, again, this is what I'm going to be selling online on eBay. And the link will be below the video. And I'm going to put it in this particular red box. It's my signature red box that I, that I uh, use for all of my uh, jewelry. And uh, it's going to be in that box. And I'm probably going to see if I can send it the most inexpensive way possible, which probably will be through uh, U.S. Postal Service in a padded envelope. So hopefully there will, I'll be able to do a tracking number. But I'm trying to, again, I'm trying to raise money for my flight. So um, again, the earrings are these ones. And they're going to be coming, uh, they're going to be ten, uh, $20 uh, online. And uh, hopefully I'll get uh, 
be able to raise the money in order to go. If not, then I guess I'll go into debt, won't I? <laughs> but anyway, so that's what I'm going to try to do. And again, this is for this Supreme Court case that's coming up on April uh, 16th in Washington, D.C., and that's the reason why I'm going to be flying up there to, uh, to the United States Capitol. So I hope that uh, you'll be willing to... Uh, to uh, invest in my particular endeavor and I think it'll be a great thing and another thing that I want to do is I want to also videotape well my trip and so I'm going to be YouTubing it and it'll be also I'm going to put this link to my Facebook page Adopted Native American Affected by the Real ID Act of 2005 so look for that public page and it's going to be in the links below and so so I hope you'll join me in my fundraising attempt. And uh, please spread the word. Post it on your Facebook pages. Twitter it. Uh, if you have a blog, blog it. If you have uh, any type of news media outlet where you can actually broadcast my YouTube video, please. Um, I am of the opinion where uh, I think that everybody has their own opinion about adoption. Mine was a great adoption. Um, I've had, you know, er I think every adoptee has their issues about it. But overall, I'm alive. I'm here, and I'm talking to you now. And it was a great one. Uh, we were well taken care of. And uh, so, and in my family, there are 10 adoptees. There's two Navajo adoptees, one mixed adoptee, and seven Ojibwe adoptees. Uh, two of us uh, Navajos were adopted out of Chinle's Children Court in 1971. This was pre-Indian Welfare Act of 2000 of uh, 1978 and uh, then also once we moved to after, after I was adopted we moved to uh, Burford Ontario Canada then Brantford Ontario Canada and when we lived in Burford Ontario Canada for that one year in 1971 and 1972 uh, we adopted uh, seven Ojibwe children and so my parents actually my adopted parents took on a really big uh, role in raising us and uh, they did a good job overall and uh, because we we're all alive and we're all well-adjusted people uh, we didn't really learn a lot about our native cultures but I don't think that it was through lack of, of, of theirs at all and so um, anyway uh, you know again this video is about me raising the funds for my trip and again that's the size of them they're just turquoise chips and uh, then I'll deliver them in, uh, in that particular setting right there. And so I hope you'll join with me. Again, my Facebook page is Adoptive Native Americans uh, Affected by the Real ID Act of 2005. The case is Adoptive Couple versus Baby Girl. And it's docket number 12399. You can look it up on the Supreme Court's website. And our book that we Native adoptees wrote is Two Worlds, Lost Children of the Indian Adoption Projects. This is available on Amazon.com and on BarnesandNoble.com. You can either get it as a Kindle uh, or as a paperback. So I thank you for your time. And again, this is my goal. So I need to raise the money. I'm probably going to make between 50 and 100 of these. So there'll be plenty. And again, they're $20 a piece. And that will include uh, shipping and handling. And hopefully I'll be able to ship it the cheapest way, which is US Postal Service, USPS. And hopefully I'll be able to do it at a, at a minimal cost. It'll come in a padded envelope. And, uh, and that's what I'm going to do. In fact, I'm actually wearing the earrings right now. I don't know if you can tell if I'm they're right here. And so, so I hope that you'll join me with me on this. And then uh, once you receive your earrings, what I really would request is that on April 16th that you wear your earrings that you've purchased and, in support of, of this adoptive uh, couple or the baby girl uh, and, uh, because I know everybody's going to have their own opinion on it. And uh, mine is... I'm native and so I'm siding with the father and the baby girl and you may choose to do otherwise which is fine because it's your opinion. But anyway, thank you so much and here's your earrings one more time and that's what my goal is, okay? And so thank you very much for your time.
And uh, please visit my Facebook page, Adoptive Native Americans Affected by the Real ID Act of 2005. Read the notes. It's very key that you read the notes. And also you can visit my other YouTube videos. I also have videos uh, from last March uh, 2012 where I first went to Ganado and I recorded my going back and everything. And so you can look up those videos if you'd like as well. Hey, thank you so much. Again, my name is Leland and I'm a native adoptee and I'm fundraising uh, for my trip to D.C. and uh, to for April 16th, so less than two weeks. So hop to it. Thank you.